this tomorrow. Well, it was a fabulous first try from Josh Charney, but the RFL may have something to say. <laughs> Many of you have tweeted about it. Fucking superstar. Why it fucking wasn't. The side of the Tompkins brothers, Sam to Joel, and Joel running the full length of the pitch. A fabulous try, the try of the match. And Wigan were flying at that point. Well, Leeds, how close they came, how superb they were. They got right back into contention. But perhaps this image encapsulates that they were in touching distance. And Danny Maguire just couldn't get his fingers onto that ball. And then Thomas Luluai had to stand and wait. Would the try be confirmed? Indeed it was. And that sealed the victory for Wigan. They won by 10 points. And in terms of statistics, Wigan were hugely dominant through the first half, but brought it leads uh, coming back at them, brought it right back level again. In fact, the territory was 50-50, Wigan 52% ahead in possession. Let's hear from Paul Deacon, who is nearing the end of his career at Wigan. A real thrill, I suspect, for him. Paul, well, you've come home to Wigan. Can you imagine the great part of all of this? Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about, my handles, uh... Yes, I've lost my words, we're a bit emotional with this picture. And, uh, you know, this one will last with me for a long, long time. You've had some very special memories in the game, but you can just see written over your face how special this one is. Yeah. Ten, ten out of ten for me. I come nine times as a fan, and they won every one, and then, you know, I got here with me on tight club and won that one, so I couldn't be happier. We don't know yet whether you're going to hang up your boots, everybody's saying you, you might, but if you do, it's a hell of a way to go out, isn't it? Yeah, I cross that bridge when it comes, but I've accomplished one of my dreams today, and uh, yeah, if I don't play another game, I'd be happy. Hey, as a Wigan person, what does it mean to the town? Oh, that's what it means to them. Look at them. Uh, you know, I was up there as a child growing up. I know what it feels like. They'll have a good night. We'll have a good night. Everybody's happy. Enjoy it. I will do. Thank you, Tom. Paul Deacon in his last season as a player, he's going to take up a coaching post uh, once next season starts. And he's an extraordinary tale as well in terms of recovering from injury. In the 2005 Tri Nations, a tackle saw his upper jaw and cheekbones smashed, and doctors feared for his life. Blood vessels burst in his throat. I mean, really, really.